Your power tool uses a basic toggle switch that breaks the circuit on both the hot and neutral wires. After thousands of cycles and years of use, the switch will wear out. Testing for a bad switch can be easily done using a multimeter. Replacing the on-off switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soka. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side cover from the handle. Now I have access to the switch. I'll note the location of each of the wires and then I can remove them. And now I can remove the switch from the housing. Now I can install the new switch. First, I'll install the black cord wire. Now the first motor wire. Now the white cord wire. And the other wire from the motor. And now I can insert the switch back into the housing. And I'll be sure to tuck all the wires out of the way. Now I'll reinstall the switch lever. I'll align the post on the switch lever with the hole in the housing. I'll reinstall the pin and the hook. And now I can reinstall the handle. And that's how you can replace the switch on your cutoff saw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 